I want to take you back to what I said on Sunday, that is last Sunday. I talked about the life of my father in the Lord, Prophet E.B. Joshua. I'm sure we all know that he, if Prophet E.B. Joshua were to be alive today, tomorrow he was supposed to turn 60 years. Amen. I'm connecting his birthday and his departure, which was last uh, Monday, 5th June, 2023. As I said earlier, your father is your father. Your father is your what? Even if he's a poor man, he's your father. Even if he's a drunk, he's your father. Whether well, people are calling your father different kinds of names to you, it's your what? It's your father. I have learned a lot. I benefited a lot from this man. Not physically, spiritually. He never gave me any coin. But what he imparted in me, spiritually, is more than money. It's more than what? This is what you know has made me to be who I am today. Today, once again, I want to continue with what we started last Sunday. For me to celebrate the legacy and the life of this man, I need to give a little gift to our mother once again today. Yes, last week we did it. Although it was not done according to what I was thinking I can do. Personally, I wanted to call it myself. For me, to show you people that I'm doing this to honor my father. His life was like this. People were eating from where? From his hand. I told you last Sunday night, I never knew that in Europe there are people who are homeless. There are people who are suffering. I came to know this through Prophet E.B. Joshua. That, ah, even there there are people who are homeless. Because what we knew is that it is us to receive from there. I'm sure all of you, you know, you, you know this story. We, we have been begging and begging, begging and begging. But this man, he broke the record. Up to today, they are still sending money to Europe, giving people. I want to celebrate his life once again. He is my father. Prophet T.B. Joshua was a man of the people. I am not saying this to use his name to hook you people, no, no, no. In fact, this is my first time of talking about his life because I was supposed to be in Nigeria. I have to celebrate his legacy here. For me to be satisfied that I honor this man with all my heart and with all my strength. And like you people who have got 10 fathers, 1,000 fathers, my spiritual father, Unga, that's all. Even in his death, I'll continue honoring his life. He was a blessing to me. A blessing to you as a church. Shall we clap for Jesus for this man? So, today, tomorrow was supposed to be his birthday. He was standing 60 years but he was caught back home. Wow. I don't know who will celebrate your life if not people dancing for your exit. Everyone will be saying, Nakubabu Fi. Hmm? Have you ever seen any man here on earth where people are celebrating all over the world? No. They are not celebrating a human being. They are celebrating the grace of God in that man's life. If you know that this is your father, follow your father. 
Obey your father. Honor your father. No matter what comes, he is your father. So for that, I want my people to prepare this small, small uh, parcel for our mother and father. Who we'll give them this small, small? Uh, it's, it's just to, you know to you know to remember this man and appreciate who he was, what he was doing. You know he was giving people whatever God will put in his hand. You will share it with the elderly, the young ones. So this is why we need to celebrate his life and his legacy. In fact, the language there is that the legacy lives what? Lives on. Mm -hmm. We have been doing this, but for this one now, we need to do this in your presence. Okay, put here my, my brother. We, we are not doing this you know, to show that we give, no. For me, it's to honor uh, this man's life. He was a giver. He was what? A giver. So if you say you are celebrating his life, follow his path. Mm -hmm. mm. let, me, let me give to my mother. Mm. Let somebody mark. Let somebody get it. Let somebody mark. But that, let somebody. <laughs> That is our Father and the Lord, Pastor Felix Mlenga, honoring the legacy of his spiritual father and the father of this ministry, Prophet T.B. Joshua, and in a small way is appreciating and emulating this legacy by giving a token of appreciation to our elderly of this ministry. Is presenting to each of our elderly parents a blanket and a piece of chitenge material to own and to celebrate this legacy. Amen. That is the way you can celebrate the legacy. Amen. Even if it is small. So we thank God for this man's life. Personally, I appreciate his life and what you know he has done to the whole entire world, including you. Hmm? Hmm? You don't know him. Aha. So be on your feet now. That is the only way we can celebrate the life and the legacy of this prophet of our time. And I know that by the grace of God, we will see more fruits. God planted him as a seed. And that seed now is, is germinated all over the world. There is no country where you can go without the mark of this man. Because it was not just a Nigerian, but a servant of God. Praise the Lord.